if you were given an opportunity, madam, okay, if there was a time machine in between of us here, dito, sa gitna natin, um, and the operator is asking you, madam, before you get into the time machine, which part of our history or the past would you like to go back to? If I'm given the chance to travel back in time, I would go back to the 1920s. Why? I want to experience the 1920s with my grandma. it made me decide to really travel back in time because wow. it was detallado and sounded like she had so much fun that time and the Philippines was so different the way she shared it iba you know iba iba from the Philippines we know now your grandmother is a storyteller yes she shared so much like um, stories about you know the carnival uh, Manila carnival event she went to that regular mm -hmm family and friends that was a big budget thing I mean like they were spending about 50,000 pesos per year and it was a big thing with a theme you know I do Greek or Japanese they, they always had a theme and the Miss Carnival contestants wore some of them wore costumes that fitted the theme and everything and everyone looked forward to it and some even foreigners from other countries were shipped they would go to our country by ship just to attend it especially business people because a lot of the businesses set up um, booths within the carnival showing the products that they have. We were like the center of trade at the time. We were exporting a lot and importing a lot. Like the stores along is what the majority were owned by foreigners. So, how does that important type of sapatos now? Because Marikina was still not manufacturing these shoes uh, for a while that time. So, Important. Kaya medyo ma I remember my brother telling me. Because I said, how come we're not going to be in the mood? Because they were barefooted, di ba? Uh -oh. Ako sabi niya, ay kasi, lalo pagkabata, bibihan mo na sa pato sa mahal-mahal, eh lalaki pa yung paha. So they, <laughs> <laughs> so they would rather buy pag hindi na lumalaki doon yung paha. So it's just so much like that. I heard that from my mother as well. <laughs> so it's just so funny, you know. But um, it's amazing, because especially when Marikina started manufacturing the good to the most sapatos, it was amazing. Some of the chinelas that were being manufactured in our country are on this display in Paris, you know. It's amazing. Right. Oh, okay, so you are you want to be with your grandmother, okay? Yes. But as a barcada, right? As a barcada, and I would like to experience, because the way she delivered the stories to me, I mean, wow, it's like 1920s Philippines. It seems so great. I mean, and that was a time there were already some cars there. And then at the same time, you see, you know, Karumatas and the Tranvil was there. I would like to express seeing all the vehicles all around and how people, you know, live. Your, your grandmother is your inspiration to, now I know. Yes. Tama ba ko? Yeah, she played a major, major, major role in my life. She was like my best friend. We didn't keep any secrets from each other. She shared so many interesting stories about the past. You know, she, um, I mean, I don't know, I didn't miss her a lot. She passed away a few years ago. But for her to reach the age I of one, How old was she when she passed away? 105. And 105! Oh my God, I want to live to 103! Yeah, she was my best friend and um, it's just so amazing because, you know, I didn't keep any secrets from her as well. She got to scrutinize some of my supers. <laughs> it's so funny. You know, she would even rate them and tell me who she likes and who she doesn't like. You <laughs> know, she's so funny. Uh, are these photographs that we're seeing, um, some of the photographs that you've sent me, your, your, the ones, especially the ones in your, in your collection, are they from your grandmother? No, not all. Not all. My grandma gave me some, but um, some I, I I always um, make sure I know what's being auctioned off all over, being sold. And if there's anything that interests me, that's when I make a bid. How do you curate a photograph? 
I always have an enlarger and a magnifying glass because oh I think in the Google, like for example, here's an old photo. I don't look at what's in the set, I look at everything around it. Like for example, there's one photo that I saw online. I I I enlarged it. And then I used even a magnifying glass. And there's a lady wearing a a lady in a Victorian outfit walking on one side. And you can see all the drivers of the Karumatas looking at her. So that gives you an idea of, you know, how it was in the past and you know things like that. Tino mo, oh, nagsuot ako ng white because uh, at saka uh, uh, pinlansya ko ng kaunti ito dahil nung araw ang mga tao, Miss Rina, planchado, napakaayos ng kanilang mga suot, kausautan. May Victorian outfit ka nakita. So nakita mo yan sa napakalayo. Nasa background ba? Actually, yes. Nasa gilid, lower left side. And then the guys were, the Karobata drivers were there looking at her. So meaning, maganda siya. But it gives, natin. just by looking at it, it gives you an idea of how life was. How, parang it, you can envision it, the lady walking and all the guys were looking. And there were even two ladies, for, they looked like Americans living, but it was naka Victorian white naman. So the lady walking was in the full black. As far as, I think she's in mourning because her outfit's really black, no? all black and you can see the ladies were also looking at this lady and she even had a beautiful hat on so that gives you an idea of you know how people dressed that time what were being i mean they were this was taken in escorta so it gives an idea of what products were being sold in escorta at that time like if, for example shops in escorta any is is that with my names i really use a magnifying glass and look and <laughs> You know, it's amazing that one big store sells only hats. Now, why would one store sell hats? It's because no, all of them were wearing hats that time. So that gives you an idea of what they were selling. Like one store, there was one big store selling perfumery from France. So people were wearing perfumery and cologne already during that time. Right. So it gives the idea of the lifestyle of your team. For the shops to be that big, malaki ha, hindi maliliit na stores na ano mo kang tiyake ha. No, I'm talking about big shops, you know, and it's just amazing. One thing about the Philippines, when you say only in the Philippines, what makes it unique? What is it that you can only find in the Philippines? Well, one thing about the Philippines, we have a lot of gifted people in the world of arts, in the world of music. I mean, if you look at all the competition, a lot of Filipinos are winning now. So the world of music, a lot, the world of theater. I mean, Leia Salonga made it to, you know, I mean, she, she's so famous now around the world. So we also present the gifts of different members in the group. I try to get to know them. I'm sure marami pa ako hindi na meet, no? And I'm trying my best. The thing is, it's not that easy with 25,000 members. But I do encourage them to share with me, send me private messages of some of their artworks or anything they want to share. Yes. And if I see that it fits the group, then I post it in our group. And I, I want to make sure that everybody sees the gifts of the different members in our group. Para makilala nila lalo ay mga. Yes, yes. And only in the Philippines. Kasi the name itself I like because only in the Philippines <laughs> Tayo lang ang meron ganito. What makes us unique, okay? And I think, I think very important, uh, Miss Rina, is for for your viewers or your members or people in Facebook to realize that only in the Philippines page is talking about the the very importance of our history, the very importance of what we have done in the past. The, you know, our 1920s when 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 the weather was different then. Uh, ano ba sabi ni Lola tungkol dito, madam? Well, my grandma said the weather was far cooler that time. Ang sabi niya, ang daming trees all over. And then, um, the breeze from the ocean, you can feel nothing was blocked. Not much were blo blocking it, you know. Uh, and, uh, yeah, different. Uh, even though nag, uh, ano, nag, um, you know, when there's a typhoon, you know, they still experience flooding also. Pero hindi nagtatagal, mabilis mag-drain yung tubig. Mas mabilis than now, you know. Kasi wala block. Puno. Maraming puno kasi. You said your grandmother, who I uh, envy because she's 105, 
who I respect because she has instilled in you the love for the past and photographs from the old days and her passion for talking about you know the golden days of even the silent the silent films yata di ba? Yes, she really she and I spent hours for many years watching silent movies. Silent she, movies. Yeah, she hates the arrival of talkies. It's so funny because sometimes I would beg her, let's watch a talkie. No, I hate talkies. And then if I do, the, if she says yes, I have to pause every time and explain to her the scene. But she, but this is what she said. She doesn't understand the arrival of talkies because silent movie does not need a translator. You know, the the physical action says it all. She didn't understand the arrival of talkies, talaga. <laughs> You have yeah. a wonderful grandmother who also yeah. apparently loves chocolates. She loves, you know, um, she said, okay, this, she loves Americans because of her she bars. Uh, before you start that, what? Give us a name. What? How do you call your grandmother? What is your first name? Lola Chidin. Why do you chocolate ang gusto ni Lola Chidin? You know, she loves a piece of chocolates and ice cream and she said, the Americans for a while were trying to win the favor of Filipinos. So they started knocking door to door in different homes. And when uh, this group of Americans knocked on their door, she w- they were given, their families given a bandanita, which is a small American version of the American flag. And I have American it here. Flag. Yeah, I have it here on display in my home, the bandanita that was given to them. The last state was Utah at that time. So there, so there, and together with uh, a pack of, of um, a pack of cigarettes and a Hershey bar, and that was uh, that was the first time she, she sampled, and she said that she really fell in love with America. She was so sad when the Americans left. Di niya maitindihan. Times were different then. Very different, and she's did you ever quarrel? Did you ever battle with her with chocolates? I mean, um, to, to yeah, that was, that was, when you were a kid, then you would love <laughs> chocolate. Would you guys quarrel over chocolates? It's so funny because I remember when after I graduated college, my grandpa father's side, because this is my grandmother's side, the one who died at the age of 105. My grandpa father's side gave me a car, so I learned to drive. So I visited my grandma in Binyan Laguna. And I caught her eating chocolate, yeah. chocolate Hershey bars, you know. She had the Hershey bar in her hand that she was eating. I said, Grandma, can I have a small piece? No, 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 you can't. You can't. She's just one small piece. It's, a, it's almost full still. Do you want a pair of earrings or a bracelet? So I ended up going home with a pair of earrings that day. <laughs> oh my goodness. Was that a good deal? Yeah, very good deal. That Was it a good deal for you? Get your old antique looking gold jar earring, no? She gave it to me. Oh she my goodness! Rather, she would rather give away a pair of earrings than a piece of her chocolate. That's how she was. Time to travel back to old Manila. Here is a 1924 press photo of a Filipino Harold Lloyd impersonator. He was a Manila vaudeville performer who made a living imitating the famous film star of America during that period. Here is a circa 1930s photo of two Filipinos walking along Escolta. Behind them is a studio, Fotografia Juan de la Cruz. That studio took some of the photos that have been posted here in our group page. Well, come and sample only in the Philippines. I'm sure that you will not regret it. Sample and, and you know, um, enjoy the group with us. I want you I want you all to just give it a try and let me know what you think, okay? okay. Really th- thank you again, Mr. Chris Paul. Marami salamat. Muchas gracias, mi amigo. Ah, oh, marami salamat. Muchas gracias, mi amiga. Marami salamat sa inyo. And I'd like to thank your grandmother as well. 105, oh my goodness. <laughs> Okay, coming from Minnesota, USA, this is Miss Estrella Bastillo. Okay, siya po ang uh, namamahala at nagpapatakbo, isa sa mga admin ng uh, Only in the Philippines. Maraming salamat, magandang gabi dyan, magandang umaga sa ating mga viewers dito sa Pilipinas. This is Chris Pomohica of The Talk Show. Thank you, madam.
Thank you. Was it okay? What do you think? It is better the second time around. 